will be restoring the Sony Ericsson default firmware to my Sony Ericsson X10 Mini Pro using PC Companion. So first of all, take yourself over to sonyericsson.com, head to the support section, then find the device um, that you're looking for. This, this will also work for all of the Xperia range and head to the download tab. When you get to there, you should find the link to Sony Ericsson PC Companion. Download the software, install it, and then open it up and you should be presented with a screen like this. Before you start, make sure that your phone is switched off, disconnected, and obviously if you haven't backed up anything, make sure you have done, um, because this will wipe all the data on the phone and restore it to the default settings. First thing to do is to open the support zone section. So we'll click start there and then um, which will pop up a couple of options and the thing we want to do is to use the phone software update tool so we'll click start there it will tell you that it can't find the phone detected which is great because we don't really want it to know what's going on with the phone we just want to go to this option here which uh, is repair phone so I'll click repair phone um, when you first time you run any of these tools it will take you some time to download it but um, I've already run it before, so it's going to just pop up straight away. So it's just reminding me that it's going to wipe all the data. So if you haven't backed up your data, stop now, turn your phone on, back up all the data. If you're looking for ways to do that, there are links and info on my blog. So I'm going to click continue and check the checkbox because they really want to make sure that you know what you're doing to say that I understand I'm going to, all the data will be lost on the phone and then click next. So now it's going to basically prepare the, the computer for the software update. Now, if you haven't already downloaded this before, it will take some time to download, so you need to make sure you've got an active internet connection. And just so that it doesn't bore you, I'm going to pause the video, and then when it's finished, I'll restart. Okay, once it's uh, finished preparing and downloading the software, it will present you with a set of Sony Ericsson phones. We'll scroll down to the uh, device which we need to, to update. I'm using an X10 Mini Pro. Again, this, this will work for all of the Xperia, pretty much all the Sony Ericsson phones, to be honest. Um, so I'll just select that and then click Next. And then it will give you some advice here and tell you what to do. The uh, process is quite straightforward. So um, it's making sure that you've got your phones disconnected from the computer, that the battery's got enough power, so it's saying at least 50%. And then turn, in the phone, turn the phone off and make sure you wait for a bit before you connect it. Plug the USB cable into the computer. And then, before you connect the phone, press and hold the back key and then plug in the cable. This is the same process that you'll be using if you wanted to use any other tools to update the Sony Ericsson software. Or sorry, to update the firmware or any sort of custom kernels on your device. So you'll become quite familiar with this. But basically, just look at the device here. This is the back key. So what we want to do is we want to press and hold down the back key while taking the USB cable and plugging it in. Um, so it, again, it's press and hold, not just press. So press and hold the back key and then wait for the software to tell you that it's ready. So I will um, just pause the video and, and do that and then we'll come back to it when it should detect it on the computer. So here we go. I've Connect the cable while holding the back key, and as you can see straight away, it's uh, it's updated the phone, and it's basically saying that it's downloading the software. Again, I'm not going to uh, to just video the computer downloading stuff, so I'll pause the video again, and we'll come back to it in just a moment. Uh, just a quick mention before we come back to it, that, um, as it says there, you don't have to hold the key down um, once it's started the process. So I've let go of the back key. Uh, you might end up with a very sore finger if you don't. So I'll pause this again and we'll come back when it's finished doing its download. So once the progress bar gets halfway, it will change to updating. Um, you won't see any difference on the phone. It's just going to stay there um, with the screen off with the green LED on, which um, is a good sign. Everything's happening. And um, basically the computer just will be set, sends the, uh, the, the, the firmware over to the, to the device and wipes all the data on it and it basically updates it. So again, I'll pause the video and we'll uh, come back when some uh, action kicks in. Okay, once it's done, the uh, screen on the computer will change and it will show you another little pictorial diagram to basically say the phone's updated and 
it's time to disconnect the phone and turn the phone on. It does give you a warning that it might take a longer time than usual to start up. That's not a problem. So there we go. I'll disconnect the phone. And wait a few moments. Press the phone there and it will boot up with the uh, default Sony Ericsson software. Any moment we'll see the Sony Ericsson logo appear. Oh, very exciting stuff. And I'm sure all of you have seen your phones boot up before, so I will save you save you watching it all over again. So here we go. One restored to factory default settings, X10 Mini Pro. Um, we can now close all the software there. And uh, it will just tell you which firmware it was updated, which is useful to know, because some people forget later. So I can now see that it's used the 2.1.1C.00 firmware. Um, and that's it's like, a, again, as I say, it's important to know in case you're going to be using custom firmware on your device. And we can close PC Companion. For those interested, I'll be running the same video with Sony Ericsson Update Service and also Flash Tool. So they should all be listed alongside this video. Thanks. Bye.